Hey friend, I want to take a few moments and just talk to you about an attitude of gratitude. In other words, living a life, being full of thanks. You know, in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 through 8, it's one of my favorite passages of scripture. And, and for me, I call it God's prescription for peace. And in verse 6, it says this, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Verse 7 says, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus. So I always talk about this from the standpoint of protecting your peace. That's a statement, a phrase that uh, it's been a, a foundational part of my household. It's something I say all the time. Uh, I talk about it all the time, probably to the annoyance of a lot of people, but it's not just something I say, it's something I very much endeavor to live by. Protect your peace. Why? Because Satan's after your peace. If, if he has your peace, if he can get you to let go of your peace, you're done. Uh, you know, the Bible says, may the God of, of hope fill you with all peace and joy and believing. And so it's really hard to be in a place of believing or be in a place of faith if there is no peace. And so I always say that protect your peace. And so I always bring people to this verse right here in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Be anxious for nothing. This is how you protect your peace. Be anxious for nothing. Choose, I'm not going to be stressed. I'm not going to be fearful. I'm not going to allow myself to be anxious. Notice for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything, with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And so the the very the primary piece of this is, hey, choose not to be anxious. Give you give your desires, give your cares, concerns over to God. You know, we're we know we're to cast our cares on the, over to the Lord. But there's a piece in here I want to I want to point out to you, uh, just in this 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 little message right here, especially in this week that we celebrate in America, we celebrate Thanksgiving. It's a it's a part of the scripture that's kind of just gone over. But I want you to notice he says, "Be anxious for nothing." But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. In other words, whatever I'm going through, whatever I'm dealing with, I'm going to give that over to God with thanksgiving. Now, I want you to think about that. Number one, why, why would I, in the midst of a problem, in the midst of a tragedy, in the midst of a concern, why, why, why would I be in a place of thanksgiving when I give this over to God? Well, first of all, when I am turning these things over to God, I'm being very thankful that, you know what? God's taking care of this, so that means I don't have to. Well, that's a good reason to be thankful, right? And that I don't have to deal with this anymore. Uh, this is God's concern. You know, when bills come, those are God's bills. When, when, there's, when there's problems, negative circumstances come, that's for God to deal with. Those are God's battles, not mine. So I need to be thankful, number one, that it's not a concern of mine anymore. Number two, I need to be thankful because I know that God, he's going to bring me the victory through that. You know, I, I make this statement all the time. You hear me say it all the time. In Christ, I always win. That means no matter what I'm going through, I can be thankful because I know I've got the victory. Why? Because it's not my battle to fight. It's God's battle to fight. And you know what? He never loses. He never loses. Number three, in the midst of the negative circumstances, the trials, the tribulations, the tragedies, I can be thankful. You know why? Because not only do I not have to deal with this anymore, God, this is his battle. Number two, uh, because I know that because it's his battle, I'm going to win. But also number three, I can be thankful because there's lots of other things in my life to be thankful for. You know, if you don't watch it, if you don't beware, you're not cautious, in the midst of a negative situation, in the midst of bad circumstances, you can get focused on that one thing and forget about all of the wonderful things that are going on in your life. You know, I've been uh, on this earth for almost 48 years, and I've been a Christian for almost all of those years. I remember receiving Jesus when I was five. Uh, this, I'm going into my 25th year of ministry in 2025. And I've seen a lot of ups, and I've seen a lot of downs. I've had a lot of things to celebrate. Uh, I've also had a, a lot of things to uh, go, you know what, uh, let's move on past that. You know, I've had some triumphs. 
and I've had a lot of trials. Uh, I've had some triumphs and I've also had some tragedies. And yet in the midst of all of it, there's always something to be thankful for. You know, right now I'm very, very thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my health. Uh, you know, I grew up very poor, uh, especially according to American standards. Now, you know, comparing American standards to some other countries throughout the world doesn't even come close, but in American standards, I was poor. Uh, we weren't just poor, po, we were poor. Huh. Uh, we didn't have much at all when I was, when I was growing up as a kid. And so, you know, to be at the place where I'm at, at right now, I'm very, very thankful, very grateful for all that I, for all that I have and for all that we were able to do. Um, material things has never meant much to me, but I'm very thankful to be able to go out and eat, you know, whenever we want to. I'm, I'm very grateful to be able to sow and give into other people's lives. Uh, I'm very thankful for what God has called us to do. I'm, I'm thankful for all the wonderful things I get to do for him, you know, uh, Gosh, I remember growing up as a kid, I thought going to Galveston, Texas was a big deal. And I grew up outside of Houston in a town called Beaumont. And so uh, Galveston is where the, the local beach was for us there in Texas. And, you know, it was about 35, 40, 45 minutes away. And I thought that was a big deal. And, uh, and so, you know, I'm very grateful that today, you know, in my life, I've been able to go all over the world and I've been able to do things I never, never dreamt I would be able to do. And, and it's just because of the goodness and faithfulness of God. Uh, I'm very thankful for my time uh, here on the earth. I'm, I'm very thankful for all the things we've been able to accomplish for God. I'm very thankful for uh, all of you, our friends and our partners. I'm so, so very thankful, you know, for our partners. You know, I say it all the time, I'm thankful, but I mean, I really am because I know, number one, I'm not smart enough to make all this happen. And number two, I, I certainly can't do it alone. And so I'm very, very thankful for all the precious people that God has brought our way to be a part of the team and to help us fulfill all that we've, all that he's called us to do. I stay thankful, um, you know, even in, in the worst tragedies that you could face in life. And, you know, I, I certainly have had one. Um, even in the midst of that, I'm still thankful for where I'm at what we're doing, uh, what what God has brought us through, what God is bringing us into. I stay very, very thankful. And the reason that I do that is because if you stay thankful, if you stay grateful, it's actually absolutely impossible to be depressed. You can't be depressed if you're thankful for everything uh, that God has done for you and you're thankful for where you're at and what you're doing. And, you know, we're all in different places. We're all facing different circumstances. But I'm telling you, no matter what you're going through, there's always something to be thankful for. And if you'll find that one thing, I mean, I don't care if you're going through hell and everything is going wrong. I guarantee you there's at least one thing to be thankful for. And if you'll begin to focus on that one thing, focus on that one thing that you can be thankful for. You know what? It'll change your perspective uh, and your life circumstances. And you'll stop focusing on the bad stuff and start focusing on the good stuff. And you know what will happen? The more you begin to focus on the good stuff, the more you begin to focus on the things that you can be thankful for, you'll stop being the, so depressed. You'll stop being so anxious. You'll stop being so fearful. You'll stop being so concerned about the things of the world. And your thankfulness, your attitude of gratitude, it will cause your eyes to get back onto Jesus and off your problems. And as long as your eyes are on Jesus, you know what? Everything is going to be okay. It's going to be all right. I mean, I'm living proof of it. Even in the worst times of life, find the things to be thankful for. You know what? The moment you start doing that, you'll stop looking to you and you'll start looking to him. You know, I found that the times that you start to get anxious, you start to get depressed, you start to get concerned. You know why you're doing that? It's because you're looking at you and you're looking at you as your own God. You're looking at you as your own provider, your healer, your counselor, your sustainer. You're looking to you and it's never gonna work out really good that way. I want to encourage you today, be thankful. Have an attitude of gratitude. Be thankful for where God has brought you from. I'm very, very thankful for where God has brought me from. I know where I came from and I know what I've gone through. 
I know what I've been through. Not a lot of people know what I've gone through and, and what I've been through to be at the place that I am right now. Uh, I don't go out, you know, talking about all my bad stuff that I've had to deal with all the time. And uh, I'm not looking for pity parties or anything like that. There's very few people that actually know all the things that I've been through you know, over the last 25 years of, of ministry. But I know where I've come from. I know what God has, has brought me from. I know what he's brought me through. And I've had some glimpses of things he's bringing me into. And so because of that, I'm extremely thankful, extremely thankful. So I just want to encourage you today. Hey, if you've been going through some rough times, find something to be thankful for, and then just begin to rejoice. And all the bad stuff that you've been going through, I want to encourage you to do right here what Paul told the Philippian church. Philippians chapter four, verse six, be anxious for nothing, be concerned about nothing, be careless about nothing. Take all those things, let those things be made, on the, no, made known unto God with thanksgiving, knowing that you don't have to be concerned about it anymore, knowing that because God's got it, it's his battle, knowing that because it's his battle, you're going to win. And you do that, you'll protect your peace. You'll stay out of oppression. You'll stay out of concern, anxiety, and you'll put a smile back on your face. You have joy and peace in your heart once again. You protect your peace. And one of the major, major ways you protect your peace is staying in a place of thanksgiving. It's very, very simple. I know it's a little hard on our soul. It's hard on our emotions, our body. We don't want to do that sometimes. Sometimes we just want to have our own little pity party. I know, been there, done that. But you know what? You can't do that. Stay in a place of thanksgiving. And if you do that, you'll stay in a place of peace. And you'll always win. Praise God. So, hey, have a great day. If those of you that are in uh, here in America, have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. Enjoy your time with your family. Eat some good food. Be a little bit of a glutton today. Uh, eat some good turkey. If you live outside the U.S. and you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, obviously, if you're outside the U.S., but you know what? You can still rejoice. Find a day just to take this one day that we celebrate in America as Thanksgiving. Just take that particular day for you. And you know what? Just choose. You know what? Today, I'm just going to be extra thankful for all that God has done for me, all that he's brought me through, and all that he's going to bring me into. And I'm going to protect my peace, protect my joy, and I'm always going to walk in victory. Praise God. Hey, I love you so very much. Thank you for all that you do for us. Thank you for your prayers, encouragement, and support. And as always, remember, in Christ, we always win. Bye-bye.